Hey, welcome to match number two. Well, I was writing down last... I noticed that my last uh, match was my 1700th match in comp leagues with Affinity. So, hooray, milestones! Ramanop ruins. Probably a burn player of some description. Goblins. And this could be bad. If he's got a good answer to the master of Ethereum and doesn't get bricked by it, that would be that would be not good. Burning tree emissary. Whacker? Is this like red green bush eight whack zoo? Or maybe just mono red eight whack? I don't really know how the eight whack decks are built. Definitely playing the Master of Ethereum here. That guy is taking a lot of damage off of his lands. So here I'm really hoping he does not have a goblin grenade. Or something particularly terrifying. Even a bolt would be somewhat awkward. But I figure... So the reason I didn't attack with the master is because... Or, or I didn't hold these back to block is I figure if the master dies... Uh, actually, no, that's backward logic. Shit, I shouldn't have attacked. I probably shouldn't have attacked then. Because if the master dies, I'm probably losing anyways, regardless. So I have to assume that the master lives, which means that if I'm assuming that the master lives, then it's more important for me to not get outraced by him playing a bushwhacker of some sort. If he plays a bushwhacker... What do I do? And plays a firebrand. Foundry seat denizen. Alright, well. This is pretty good. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the four. this lethal six uh, eight I don't think this is quite lethal eight nine ten Yeah, this just forces him to sack both of his fanatics to kill the signal pest. 
and puts him at one, which means that he can't cast spells because of his ramen up runes. All right. Well, I'm gonna not worry about it. He has to sacrifice his board and go to one so that he doesn't and can't cast spells anymore. Nice ramen up ruins. Oh no, he goes to two. He can cast something costing one red. Never mind. Yes, because he only this took off two damage, not one. All right. Well, got there anyways. Uh, oh, not Ancient Grudge. That's supposed to be the Whip Flare. Whip Flare, much better here. Uh, champion, not so hot. Gonna run like that. I'm not tremendously fond of Champion versus Weenie decks, because sure, it blocks Weenies pretty good, but uh, it's just a little slow. You know what? I like I like the hand that, that can kill a bunch of his stuff. Whip Flare is just so good against what we've seen. Oh, he's not taking a bunch of free damage off of his stuff? Well, that's almost cheating. So I would love to see him play a land into multiple of those cantripping, er, not cantripping, but uh, mana cantripping, zero mana, the, the red-green thing that makes red and green. Just play like four of those. Give me the best whip flare ever. Oh, how kind of him to deliver lands to me. I don't think I really need to get greedy. I think this is good enough. Yeah, that was the wrong choice. I don't think he has Bolt, since he would have blocked. Or he would have attacked if he had Bolt, since he could Bolt the Ornithopter if I double block. Uh, I guess no, because I, I single block with the Ornithopter and don't go for the double block. Never mind. I'm going to slow roll my attacks for another turn, just so that I don't get bursted down out of nowhere, because while I've got two Steel Overseers going, you know, in a couple turns I'll just crush him. Alright. Well, that was pretty easy.